what's up everyone SJ Vita here today I'm doing a, something a little different on my channel I'm gonna do a how-to video pretty much how to mod your Borderlands 2 on Xbox 360 um, this is only well I only own it on 360 so I don't know if you can I'm pretty sure you can mod it on the other consoles and PC as well but um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on Xbox 360 all right so first I'm gonna do a disclaimer on I'm not going to be in charge of you because you can, well, pretty much what I'm trying to say is I'm doing a disclaimer so I can't get in trouble because you can get banned for using this. So don't over abuse the power or anything. Just use it and yeah, use it at your own risk pretty much. So right before we go ahead and get started into this I'm, I'm I'm trying to see if I should make this a new series type thing on how to stuff because as you can tell I have a lot of things over here that I can show you guys how to use and stuff but um I just want to see what my viewers and subscribers all want so if you can just go ahead and leave a sub, uh, comment or even go into my uh, YouTube channel and go to the discussions and tell me what you guys want to see and I'll try and make it happen but um, all right. Well, let's go ahead and get started into this. So, what you want to do first is, if you have a USB, which I recommend, is once you have a USB, at least a gig over, plug it into your Xbox. Make sure it is synced with your Xbox. Go ahead and transfer over the profile that you want to mod. And once it's over and moved over to the USB, you're gonna want to take it out, plug it into your computer. And then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and download this wonderful thing called Horizon. Horizon is going to help you out. Uh, here is the web page of Horizon. It's horizonmb.com. I will have the um, web page in the description. But what you're going to want to do is go here where it says download. You're going to click on it. It's going to come right here where it says, do you want to run save Horizon slash setup? Yada, yada, yada. This type of thing could harm your computer, which... I, it hasn't harmed my computer at all so but what you're going to want to do is go ahead and hit run I don't have to do this so I'm going to minimize that once you're done setting it up and stuff you're going to want to open it up here it's going to pop up this and if you have a flash drive in it'll go ahead and pop this up automatically and what you're going to want to do is open this up go to gamer profiles as you can tell I do have two accounts I was trying to figure out what was wrong with this program but I figured it out so this is my backup account kind of but this is my main account so if you have any questions you can go ahead and shoot me a message on Xbox I'm mainly on it so Xbox gamertag is SJ Vita but um, what you're going to do here is that you're going to go over here to content you're going to scroll this this until you see a GPD thing like this but it's going to say 5454087C which we will see it coming up right here 545087c.gpd. I'm going to extract a selected desktop. I'm going to save it. You'll pop up this file, extract to save it. Successful. You're going to want to close this out. Move, click, and drag that over to your dashboard or your desktop. And what you're going to want to do is minimize after all that's done. Here's my profile, and here's that uh, GPD thing that I told you to extract at first. And so after you're done doing that, you're going to want to download some kind of horizon thing so you can go ahead and after you're done downloading the GPD editor here which the download link will be in the description and like I said use at your own risk I have no control over you on what you do with your profile and all but um, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and download some kind of WinRAR thing or something that will uncompress or unzip or extract files from a download like this and so after you're done download that you're gonna to want to download this the GPD editor like I said link will be in the description after you're done downloading that you're gonna to wanna to open it up right here and where it says Borderlands 2 GPD editor version 2.3.0.5 yeah and then you're gonna to wanna to open that up go ahead and double click on that open that up run it's gonna pop up this this is just the Borderlands 2 GPD editor. This is where you come in, mod your profile. This works on every single character, so you don't have to do it multiple times. This mods your badass rank, pretty much. So what you're going to do is go click File, Open. You're going to look for that 
8.7c.gpd. You're going to want to open it. It's going to pop up here. And then you're going to look for your profile right here. The one that I told you to click and drag your profile out onto the desktop. And you're going to click here, open. And see, as you can already tell, I've already modded it as much as I can. <laughs> and so pretty much what you all you got to do is just click six nines and that's it or you can do seven nines so you can make sure you have that dot zero at the end and we're going to want to do is go ahead and do that to everything if you want to be unstoppable or you can just go ahead and choose different things it comes all the way down here gun damage gun accuracy gun or grenade damage sorry about that gun damage fire rate recoil reduction reload speed elemental effect chance element elemental effect damage and all this other stuff and so you're gonna if you want to be just a jag and just like max everything out you're, you can do that but what I'm going to recommend is on the fire rate only do it up to a thousand because I don't know how high it has to be to freeze the game but it will freeze your game if you go too high so I just have mine set at a thousand it shoots really really fast as is so I I just say go ahead and set it to a thousand but um, we're going to want to do, well, if you want, you can go ahead and max out your badass tokens, badass rank. Well, I'm going to keep my badass rank to the normal. And then here's the golden keys. You can just type in seven nines, and then it gives you the max amount of keys. And once you're done doing all this, you're going to want to click file. going to click save, where it says GPD save data, data save. You're going to want to click OK. You can go ahead and close that out. And here it says some extracted borderlands. Do you wish to archive them? Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and press cancel because I, I that's never popped up before. But um, what you're gonna do is go ahead and go back here, and then you're gonna want to go ahead and click and drag that back out. Now you're gonna relook for that five four five zero eight seven C GPD, and once you find it, you're gonna keep scrolling down right here. You're gonna want to right click replace then you're gonna go ahead and look for the GPD that you just modified and so it's gonna be right here you're gonna click on that go ahead and click open I don't have to do it because I've already done it and what you want to do is gonna click re save rehash resign a couple times so like that then like that sorry kinda laggy but um once you're done with that uh, you're pretty much done here. You don't need anything else. All you do is unplug the flash drive from the computer, put it in the Xbox, start up the game, and just watch everything shoot up. And if you guys enjoyed this video, and if you find this video very helpful, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to my channel. I know I'm it's a really, really small channel, but the thought is what it counts. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave comments to le tell me what kind of games to go ahead and start recording. I can do anything to PC, to Xbox. Just go ahead and let me know. Hit me up on the Xbox if you guys want to hang out or something or talk. And that'll be it.